Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am going to do a little massage video. It's not really a tutorial, it's more of something, a different perspective on massage. So because I've not worked with clients for so long, just like everyone else, I had to buy some new products. So I can blend aromatherapy, but what I wanted to do was buy some standard massage oils that were already pre-blended with some aromatherapy in them, some essential oils. So I went to Ellison's and I picked three that caught my eye. So I think this is Kezo Beauty Massage Oil, Rejuvenating Geranium. So this says on the back, a relaxing body massage oil that works to moisturise and hydrate the skin while rejuvenating the senses. And there will be ingredients, so grapeseed oil, uh, geranium oil, avocado, um, citral, etc. So that's the main one. So geranium is the lead. So this is supposedly a rejuvenating oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this on our mystery model. I'm going to tell you how it feels from a massage therapist's point of view. Scent, feel, ease of use, etc. And our model is going to tell us how it feels from the client's point of view. So the plan is to use this on a hand and arm massage and then we can compare how it feels for the therapist, how it feels for the client. This next one, I've already used a little bit of it on myself and I'll explain in a future video why I was intrigued by this one. So this is Stone Massage Oil Ultimate Relaxation Balancing Harmonising and its ingredients are grapeseed oil, grapefruit peel oil, we've got geranium again, I love geranium, again citrus oils, now there's not so much information on here. Grapefruit to create spiritual clarity, geranium to strengthen and calm the physical body. A total balance is achieved, harmonising your client and promoting a unity of body and spirit, blended in grapeseed carrier oil. So this one, as we say, should be balancing and harmonising. So our plan is to use this on the client on a foot and lower leg massage. Again, I'll tell you how it feels from the therapist's point of view. Client will tell you how it feels from actually not so much receiving the treatment, but the experience of the oil and the blend. Do you feel the benefits? Possibly, again, with anything with essential oils, they say to allow it to absorb into the skin and that it takes about eight hours for it to fully absorb and do its thing. So you're not going to feel straight away, oh, I'm balanced and harmonised. But you can definitely get a feel for the scent, the feeling of the oil, the immediate results, if you like. And then the final one is Ellison's Essentials. And it is a stimulating oil. So it's an aromatherapy body oil. It's pure basil and black pepper essential oils blended into sweet almond oil base. Now again, anything with almond oil, again, you've got to make sure there's no allergies involved. Professionally blended body oil for full therapeutic benefits. And then it tells you to pour five to 10 drops into the palm, rub the hands together to warm the oil, apply using upwards movements. After treatment, we advise your client drinks plenty of water. Warning again, traces of nuts will obviously because again of the sweet almond. So the idea with this, basil and black pepper will be warming. This will be good for any areas where you get aches and pains. So we are going to use this on the back of the neck. So it's not going to be a back massage. We're just going to use it on the back of the neck, possibly the tops of the shoulders, but just that area where you tend to get a little bit of achiness. And again, I would expect from the therapist's point of view that I'll feel it quite warming on my hands, coupled with the, th the fact that you're building up a heat and you're using those stimulating movements. But I'd also like to know how our client feels. Is it warming as the client? Do you feel the heat of the black pepper essential oil? So let's try these oils. Let's compare them. How does it feel as a therapist to use them? And how does it feel as the client? So we're going to use the Kezo Massage Oil. And remember, this is the rejuvenating geranium. So we'll just do a simple hand massage. I don't know if I'll go to the arm because you won't really see it. But it's just to give us an idea. And I have to apologise to my model because my hands are cold. <laughs> so that is not the nicest experience unless you want somebody with freezing cold hands. So my first impression, I'll just get you to turn your hand around. So my first impression 
is that it's not a very greasy oil. So what I mean by that is some oils can be so slidey that you feel as if you can't really control them. But this doesn't feel like too slidey of an oil. But you can just relax your hand. Now, how does that feel to you? Would you say that doesn't feel as if someone's just put a load of crisp and dry on you? No, it's fine. It's fine. That's good. Right, so... I can't smell anything yet, but again, it takes a little bit of time. You know, when there's a scent in something, you've got the diffusion too, so it takes a little bit of time for the scent to hit. But it feels very nice to work with. I feel as if I've got a nice... I always refer to it as a slip and slide. And actually, this isn't the oil particularly, but I'm starting to heat up now. But again, that's the process of the massage. But what I should have done properly is warmed up my hands so that I didn't just start massaging with ice cold hands. That's not the nicest. Although I did work with someone who was always too hot and because I was always on the colder side, used to ask me to clamp my hands on them to cool them down. So this feels nice. How's that feeling for you? The oil, not the massage. So would you say that feels like a nice massage medium? It doesn't feel as if it's dry. It's not no. pulling at your skin, no. No. And it doesn't feel as if it's, um, we'll put it this way, it's not irritating you. Does it just feel like a pleasant? Yeah. That's good. And then what we'll do is just work a little bit on your hand. When you're doing a full massage with this, remember as you work away and as you heat up and the client heats up, that scent will fill the room. But what we'll do is we'll stop here and I'll just get you to smell how you think that scent smells. So that's nice for me. I smell the geranium. I know you yeah. won't particularly say, oh, that's geranium. But when you smell that, would you say that's a pleasant smell? Does it mean nothing to you? Are you bothered? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? It doesn't bother me either way. Right, so if someone used that on you, I love the fact that you're just like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> so you wouldn't have a problem if somebody used that oil. It's not something you dislike. No. Because there's some, <laughs> you're just making me laugh because it's just like, you're like, I don't care. But that's, that's a good normal response. If I don't like an oil, I'm not going to really enjoy it having a massage with it but I think overall your response is that's absolutely fine I don't have a problem with it I don't like it I don't dislike it it's just annoying mm -hmm. right that's cool so let's move on to the next one that's your foot massage okay we're going to do a little foot massage so this is the stone massage oil the balancing and harmonizing and I did have to be careful when I tried this out before it did that classic thing where I went to do one pump of it and it completely missed my hand and it hit my trousers. So let that be a warning to you that this one and this type of dispenser can sometimes be a bit dangerous. So I'm being very careful. I'm angling it into my hand and then if you can get into the habit of closing the pump immediately, you won't have that accidental situation where you might be travelling with it or you might think that it's closed and it's not. Now it could be where I am sitting just now but I can smell that immediately. So I really do get the geranium and the citrusy element of that and it hits the room for me straight away. But again that could be because I'm closer to it. Um, again, it's a nice dry oil to work with and my hands are not freezing now, so that's also beneficial to everyone involved. Now, can you smell that yet? No. No. I don't expect you to smell that as quickly as me because I'm far closer to it. But how does that oil feel again to you? Is it just like a standard dry oil? It doesn't feel a particular way? Yeah, it feels like a dry oil. Yeah. Again, I'm just doing this for a bit of fun for us, but the truth is... Unless your client's interested or in the industry, why do they care? I think most of the time you'll just know if something doesn't feel great or likewise you'll know if it feels amazing. But most people aren't thinking about the, like the viscosity of an oil or what it smells like, again, unless it's something of interest. And I'm just being honest with you, I'm not doing any particular massage routine. I'm just using the oil. I'm just basically just doing a wee mess about massage just to see how it feels to work with it that's all some effleurage and some gentle movements so if anyone's looking at this going what is she doing 
I'm freestyling, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, how does that feel for you? Would you say that's any difference between the first oil and this oil? Um, no, it's slippery. Right. So the other one would maybe be a little bit more, I'm not saying greasy because that sounds like a negative, but do you think the other one was maybe a thicker oil? This yeah. one feels to me like it's a little bit more fluid, if you like. I can do more with this oil. Mm -hmm. um, I take it you don't smell anything yet because it's... No. I've only used a couple of pumps. You won't really smell anything. It would be like a... It takes a bit of time, basically. But I was going to say, would you like to smell it? But unless you're really, really flexible and you can bend that leg right up to your face, I'm guessing that you won't be able to smell it. So what I'll do is I'll hand you the bottle... You should be able to smell it from the bottle. Can you smell anything? Not really. Right, let me give you a little bit on your hand then. Very, very carefully. Right, here you go. See what you think of that. It smells like the last one. So very similar. Geranium is the leading essence the essential oil but the difference with this one is it's also got some more citrusy notes in it can you smell yeah. if i tell you that it's also got grapefruit um it's got the geranium it's got um a couple more citrus oils within it now that i've told you that can you actually smell apart from the geranium which i definitely think comes through the strongest can you smell it's a little bit more citrusy yeah do you have a preference between one and two or are they both exactly the same to you? Pretty much the same. Yeah. And that is your honest opinion. I think this one has got the edge for me just because I like that stronger scent. I really like when the geranium comes in with that background of the more citrusy elements. I really like that. So there isn't much of a difference, but so far I would say this one just edges it for me. Okay, our final oil that we're going to try is the stimulating basil and black pepper. So we've agreed that I'm just going to try it on this little bit of the neck here. So obviously that is just, again, trying the oil. You're not taking it seriously. You're not doing a proper massage. You're just testing it out. What we want to know is, can we both feel the heat? So I'm just going to do a couple of drops, maybe three or four. And... Can we feel the heat of this oil? So I'll just pop it down just now. I've covered clothing. And now it does, again, as I said before, it does smell peppery to me. Um, I'll just get you to smell a little bit here. What do you think? Yeah. Do you smell the pepper? Yes. I don't really get the basil coming through. What about you? Not really, it just smells like pepper. Yeah. Now, I'm expecting erythema quite quickly here. And yes, can you see we're getting it already? Now, that's not necessarily the oil. That is just because we are working this area. And it's very easy to get erythema very quickly on the neck. So we're not going to overwork it. We're just trying a few things out. So this is more about a little bit of gentle relaxation and just testing that oil. Now... How does that feel for you? Can you feel any heat building up yet? Yeah, a little bit. Again, it's not necessarily all of the oil. Some of it will be because we're massaging that area and I'm not going to go on it too long. But I do feel that's quite a stimulating oil. Mm -hmm. It does feel, I do feel there's some warming there. What about you? Do you feel a little heat? You know when you can tell it's a product that's heating up versus just the massage? Do you think it's the massage or do you think it's the product? I can feel the product. Um, right. And would you say it's a, a nice element to the massage or a yeah. bit like, um, you know, sometimes when you get like, well, I don't know if you've ever used them, the self-heating face masks and things like that. Not everybody likes them. Some people do not like the feeling of it heating up. But would you say that's quite a nice element? Yeah. Does it feel like it's relaxing your muscles? Yeah. Excellent. Well, I wish you'd stop talking. <laughs> the problem is you don't know when to stop talking, do you? No. Sorry. No, you've been good. You've been helpful. Because I think it's good to know from the client's perspective how 
and oil feels. And again, we're not doing it properly. We're not doing a full massage, but it's good just to have an idea. So we'll leave that there. I think you can definitely feel that there is a warmth to that oil. We've got an instant erythema, but again, on the neck, that is so easy to do. You don't need to do much at all to get an instant erythema there. Even when you think about somebody being out in the sunshine, within a matter of minutes, you can start to see erythema just through the heat of the sun. So that is completely normal. So thank you for being my model stroke client stroke feedback. Um, I, I hope you all found that interesting. It's just a different way of doing it, just to see how the oils feel from the two different perspectives. Um, I think they all definitely are good products. They all do what I need them to do. And I think just through preference of what I enjoy, I like the second one, the geranium. Would you say that you didn't particularly have a favourite then? Just they're all fine, they do what they need to do? Yeah, I don't have a preference. Right, and I don't expect you to have a preference because you're not in the industry. So you just want the massage and you're sorted. Yes. Right, everyone, I hope you found that interesting. Have a good day and I'll see you again soon.